Hi, you guys. I'm here today to just talk about a couple of events, like change, I mean, a couple of topics. Change your mind. Change the way you're thinking. Growth in mindset. Growth in mindset and setting goals. And that all those are important and they go hand in hand. So I'm just here on here to try to give you a couple of examples, give you a couple of stories. Just let you know it's, it's time to change our way of thinking so we can get better. So I have some visuals. They're not really visuals. It's something I want to put up for you. So in order to get different results, we need to change your thinking. I'll say nothing about the U. First of all, I have all the letters A through Z except the U. I really believe my one-year-old has eaten the U. Okay. Um, we're going to talk about setting goals. Setting goals. Isn't that cute? Look at the border. This is like a little small border. I got this from Family Dollar. It got glitter, gold border, a uh, green newborn. We're also going to talk about growth and fixed mindsets. And I just like, like made a little small vision board. It said your goal is to keep moving forward. Saving money is one of my goals. Eat, become a better cook is one of my goals. It's just a couple of goals. I want to be able to run without being like out of breath and stuff. So I have written down some stuff. Setting goals and accomplishing those goals is very important because it adds value to your worth, it increases your skills, and it improves your self esteem, like boosting your confidence. And stuff. What is a goal? A goal is the object of a person's ambition or effort or an aim or desired results. Wikipedia states that a goal is an idea of the future or desired result that a person or a group of people envision, plan, and commit to achieve. People endeavor to reach goals within an infinite time by setting deadlines. Goals become a big part of my life years ago. I was a content I was content with what I had in life, then something changed. I was always broken, depressed, and I just was like, something got to change, so I started setting goals, and my life completely changed. I am not broke. I will not claim that I'm broke, but my money is slowly coming to it. Yeah. Always work on yourself and goals. Always strive to do better. Every day is a step closer to your breakthrough, so don't never give up because you never know that next day might be that day that you can have a breakthrough. Setting goals is important to me because it pulled me out of my depression. It made me focus on something. It gave me a purpose to want to try again. When you, when you see the world passing you by, you realize then that is the time for change. The change started with you, and setting goals is getting, it's a good way of getting different results. Um, let's talk about growth and fixed mindset. Growth mindset is... Growth mindset people believe that their most basic abilities can be developed through dedication and hard work. Growth mindset is is being willing to always learn and grow. A growth mindset is a growth mindset is being able to accept constructive criticism and use it to improve. A growth mindset person believes there's always room for improvement. A growth mindset person must possess qualities such as determined, open, patient, drive. I believe these are important because in order to grow, you must improve. Being a growth-minded person is always learning something, always looking for a way to improve the situation. Now, I work in fast food. I work at Chick-fil-A. Um... I, when I first started working with Chick-fil-A, I was a prep person. I always just was in the kitchen. All, all my fast food career, I've been started. i worked fast food since I was 14. Always worked fast food. And the salaries for fast food is not getting no better. So, me being a growth mind person, I decided to go back to school, start to learn a different skill. Now, while I'm still in school, I still work with fast food because I'm not going to give up my paycheck. But I am a growth minded person and I'm willing to learn something extra to get a different skill. Um, that's being growth mindset. You have to set your, open your mind to something new. If you're ready for different results, you have to do something different. That's the only way you can get different results in doing something different. You cannot expect to get different results if you continue to do the same thing over and over and over. Growth mind, nine growth mindset examples are receiving criticism, approaching new tasks, changing roles, eagerness to learn, resilience, Adapt and remove older ideas, not re willingness to adapt, not refusing to change, and 
individual path. Okay. Let's talk about this. I believe I have a growth mindset. Every day I'm challenged at a test, either at work or for school. By attending school, I am gaining knowledge daily on a particular subject. I have to study a lot too graphs are messed with just one cup set and at my job there are many tasks to do every day is not like the same i'm able to perform in multiple tasks so the business can run smoothly i am considered a cashier but i am able to do prep i am able to do whatever i put my mind to when i'm asked to do something i don't say no i never done that before what i say is okay what i have to do and let's get it done because i'm willing to learn whatever needs to be done so we can continue to grow and be productive in whatever task it is. That's how you should be because it looks good. Like when you're in a job and your boss asks you, can you do this? You don't say no. You're just like, yep, and just accept whatever it is and keep it moving. Every day you learn something different. Every day you learn something different. Just set your mind up to let you know that you are willing and able to do something different with your life. A fixed mindset person believes that their basic abilities like their intelligence or talent are simply fixed traits. They spend their time documenting their intelligence or talent instead of developing them. They also believe that talent alone creates success without effort, which is not true. Those with fixed mindsets may, may avoid challenges, gives up easily, and ignore negative feedback. We do not want to be a fixed mindset. During this epidemic, you should have learned something. it has been so many free things that they offered during the corona that y'all should have just grabbed grabbed on hold. You know what I'm saying? Um, I completed my safe serve examination and passed. It was free. So look at me going. So whenever I do, and if I do plan on leaving Chick-fil-A, I can't add something to my resume because I've accomplished the goal. I have that growth mindset and I accomplished it. Growth mindset is when you don't accept defeat. When you keep pushing to get to the main goal. Sometimes you get knocked down but never knocked out. If a situation occurs and you feel a little out of it, regroup and come back stronger. Never give up. Never give up. The road travel is going to get easier. Enjoy the process. Find a, per per find a purpose. Live in it. Every day work on yourself or your goal. The goal needs to be beneficial, productive, useful, meaningful. Write the meaning of accomplish the goal and never lose sight. So, let's talk about these goals again. Let's talk about changing our way of thinking. Because that's how it starts. Like when you wake up in the morning, if you start with positive affirmations and positive things and things you could know that you'll help yourself. If you change the way you're thinking, it change the way you feel, and change the way you feel it might change your attitude about things, and things are going to start happening. You, whatever you put out in the universe, the universe will give it right back to you. So if you put out positivity, care, and love, that all that going to come right back to you. Just this what you pushed it out, come right back to you. So you can control the elements in your life by the way you think. Negative thinking is the block or wall that we must hurt in order to have anything. You can't build on anything that's in the past. Let it go. Make every moment count now. You must believe it can happen. You must believe it can happen for you. Every day you must work on yourself. Every day is a new day towards the life. Think about it. Write it down. Read things about it. Whatever you desire in life is possible if you believe. Stop saying what you can and cannot do. If you try, try everything once. That's how I decided I was going to excel in school. I decided that I was going to, I was going to do it and I was going to do it. So... You must change your way of thinking in order to get different results. You must train your mind daily. It starts early in the morning after giving God his praise for waking you up. Start setting the tone. Tell yourself some good things. Try to set goals. Tell yourself two good things about yourself. Remind yourself about the beast that you are. Allow yourself to learn something that gives you the confidence to expand your horizon. Believe that if it's for you, it's going to happen. Good things are supposed to happen. If you say to the good things about yourself, about your surrounding, see that's the negative thoughts. Will, soon the negative thoughts will disappear. Change your way of thinking is very important. I've had the pleasure of responding to YouTube YouTube videos on changing the way of thinking. It helps. Literally, you have you literally have to have a growth mindset. That's all needed. You must stop telling yourself it's too hard. I can't do it. Yes, it is too hard, and yes, you can do it. I take an online computer class, and it's pretty challenging. But before even looking at the assignments, I already tell myself, 
I can't. But I can if I put my mindset. So you have to do things to help you. You can't just automatically think things going to come your way. It's not. You have to study. You have to read. You have to do whatever is necessary to accomplish that goal. If you cannot expect to accomplish a goal just by looking at it, it's not going to happen. You have to change the way you're thinking. Change your thinking. Once you change your thinking, you also have a growth mindset. We're not going to worry about fix. Do y'all notice how I broke it down though? Because it's a fix. Aha. But we're going to have to have a growth mindset. I will do more and plenty of videos on this. Set goals. Do vision boards. Write them down. Get magazines. Cut out things that you see or things that you want to aspire to do. Every day look at it. Your way of thinking will change. Set goals. Just change the way you're thinking. That's the main thing. If you change the way you're thinking, your whole life will change. I really appreciate y'all watching this video. I really appreciate y'all supporting me in this. I have changed the way I thought since the very first video that I did on YouTube. I used to think nobody's going to watch me, and I probably still think that. And I, used, and I was just like, nobody believes in me because I'm not doing the norm, but I don't care anymore. As long as you believe in yourself, that's all that matters. You cannot expect other people to believe in you if you don't believe in yourself. And we really don't care about what other people's opinion is. If you have a, a goal or a purpose in life, you live in it. Do not worry about whoever likes it or not, whoever uh, supports you or not. You support yourself, God supports you, and that's all you need. I really thank y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe. And it's been a pleasure. Change the way you think you have a great one.